In El Paso tonight, a little boy is recovering from broken fingers, a baby, two months old. We mentioned him at the top of the program. Uh, his name is Paul. He's two months old, and he owes his life to his mom, Jordan, who, according to the family, did what mothers do. They protect their kids. When he gets a little older, he'll be able to hear the story himself, but sadly, he won't be able to hear it from his mom. She died saving his life, and he'll have that memory with him forever. Joining us now is Jordan's aunt and uncle, Liz Terry and Jesse Jamrowski. They are brother and sister. Uh, Liz and Terry, thank you so much for being with us. I I'm so sorry uh, for, for what you are going through. It it's unimaginable. Um, Jesse, can, can you just tell us about Jordan and Andre and, and the kind of people they were? They were beautiful. They were very hardworking. They were amazing parents to their three children. They gave what they could for them as far as support. And most importantly, they gave everything they could in love. And that's what ultimately we'll remember about them. And Liz, I understand that, that Jordan, uh, she'd already, she dropped off one child uh, and I think at cheerleading practice, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, and, and they went to the Walmart to buy school supplies. Is that right? Yes, they were. Um, their oldest child, Skylin, who turned five yesterday, uh, was dropped off at cheer practice, and I think they had a closed practice. So Andre and, and Jordan and baby Paul had headed to Walmart um, to do some school supply shopping. And, and, Paul, and uh, Paul's we're obviously... Paul's just two two months old. I mean, they, 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 it was. I mean, it's so incredibly recent that they must have been so joyful. Oh, they were. They just celebrated their one year anniversary, July thirtieth, their one year wedding anniversary. Um, baby Paul is a beautiful baby. It was our middle brother, Jordan's father, his um, first boy. He had three girls, Jordan included, um, and two granddaughters. So. I don't think he'd ever thought he'd see the day he'd have a boy, and this was Andre's, obviously, his, his, his son, firstborn his son. firstborn son. So there was a lot of joy, a lot of celebration in the family, and met with obvious devastation. And, and how is Paul uh, doing? I understand he had some fingers broken. He did. He was um, bruised up, uh, two fingers broken, they did an MRI this morning and everything turned out fine. He was just released from uh, UMC Children's uh, an hour and a half or so ago. Roughly. Uh, to his uh, grandparents. So I guess as children are resilient, shouldn't be faced with this situation, but for, he's, he's doing great considering the circumstances. And what do you know about about how he about how he was found? About because uh, I understand Jordan was alive uh, and actually brought to the hospital. Correct. From what we understand, she was taken into critical condition. Um, what little we know, we just with all the chaos and all the things that have been said, is that he was pulled. Um, ba uh, baby Paul was pulled from her. Still had blood. Um, I would imagine, from what we understand, he went into the hospital as... Uh, John Doe, baby John Doe. The, the details are very cloudy, but from what we understand, baby Paul was recovered from the crime scene with his mother on top of him, and we got word that Andre had jumped in front of his, his wife to protect his wife and son throughout the whole circumstance, so it's very devastating. His mother and, and, and uh, the son was taken to the hospital, thankfully. But we lost Jordan. We there. lost Jordan yesterday, and Andre as well. Mm -hmm. Liz and Jesse, what, what do you want people to know about, about Jordan, about Andre, about, uh, about what the world has lost? They were the light. They were definitely a contribution to this world. They will be missed. Um, Jordan would talk to anybody and everybody. She was uh, every bit of a self-sacrificing self mother, and um, obviously Andre, an amazing father. They were, she was the light of our life. She was the jokester. She was the contagious laugh, a smile that could light up the room and the world could know that uh, two amazing humans were stripped from us and their babies. 
are left now parentless, but we want, we will do everything in our power to, as a family, to unite behind them and, and continue to remind them of the amazing parents that they had. Mm. Just, there's not enough words to, I, I think the ultimate sacrifice a parent can show of love is obviously shielding your children, which you shouldn't be doing yeah. in a Walmart when you're shopping for school supplies. Liz and, bullets. Liz and, and, and Jesse, I appreciate you in, in your grief telling us about, uh, about them. And, and um, again, I'm so sorry for what your family is going through. Thank you. Thank you. Our condolences to the rest of the victims and families. Thank you very much. Uh, again, thank you for talking to us. You take care.